Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. In this video, we're going to solve an example of a related rates problem from Calculus 1. If you need a full video lecture on related rates, I'll link it right here. But I'm just going to jump in and do an example for you guys, okay? Two cars start moving from the same point. One travels south at 60 miles per hour and the other travels west at 25 miles per hour. So they're going, meow. At what rate is the distance between the cars increasing two hours later? All right, so we've got two cars, I'll call them cars A and B, and they start off at the same point. One is traveling south at 60 miles per hour, okay? So I'll say this is car A, it's going 60 miles per hour. And then the other one's going west at 25 miles per hour. So this will be car B. It's traveling 25 miles per hour. And then the problem asks at what rate is the distance between the cars increasing two hours later. So the distance between the two cars is right here. No surprise, we've got a right triangle and they wanna know at what rate is that distance increasing. So these are all related rates problems. I'll call this distance between them C. Try not to use D because derivatives we use D for a lot. So that's why I did this A, B, and C business, okay? Good. Let's introduce some notation here. First, let's focus on the question. At what rate, yes, is the distance between the cars increasing? So what they want from us is the rate of change with respect to time of this distance. How do you write that using derivative notation? That would be dc dt. All your related rates problems are going to involve derivatives with respect to time. That's why they're related rates, okay? Good, now what did they give us? This 60 miles per hour is the rate of change of this distance A that car A is traveling. So we have that dA dt is equal to 60 miles per hour. And also dB dt, that's the rate of change of the distance that car B travels is 25 miles per hour. Okay, so here's the idea to solve the problems. Remember, look at the variables involved, A, B, and C. Can you come up with an equation that relates all of them together? After you have that equation, then you bust out the calculus and it's time to take derivatives. So looking here, we've got this cute little right triangle. I already even labeled it A, B, and C. Can you think of a formula that relates them all together? Yes, the good old Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so we have that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Like I said, this is a related rates problem. So I'm gonna differentiate always both sides with respect to t. So here we go. I'm gonna take the derivative of the left-hand side with respect to t and the right-hand side. Okay. We have to use implicit for all of these. So derivative of a squared is gonna be 2a times dA dt plus, move to the next term, derivative of b squared, that's going to be 2b times db dt. That's the chain rule that we use anytime we have to differentiate implicitly. And then this equals derivative of c squared is going to be 2c times dc dt. Okay? Good. Now, I notice here I can cancel out twos from everybody, so let's do it. Bam, 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 gone. And then what are we trying to find? We're trying to find dc dt. So let me isolate that here. I need to divide by c, so I'm gonna rewrite everything. dc dt is equal to a times dA dt plus b times, ooh, what an ugly b, hold on. <laughs> the b was fine, this one was not, okay. db dt. All of that gets divided by C, all right? Good, so now it's time to just substitute in everything appropriately. They gave me dA dt, it's right there. 
They gave me DBDT right there. They didn't give me A, B, and C though. What is going on? So remember, I have another piece of information I haven't used yet. And they wanna know at what rate the distance is changing two hours later. So let's draw a triangle specific to the situation two hours later, and we'll be able to figure out those distances, A, B, and C. Okay, so this is two hours after they take off. Okay, this is a specific triangle. Two hours later. What's going on? So car B travels at 25 miles per hour. So after two hours, that means it's gone 50 miles. Okay, car A travels at 60 miles per hour. So after two hours, it has traveled 120 miles. What is C? You could do the Pythagorean theorem. Hopefully by now though you recognize this is the 5, 12, 13 triangle. Yay, trick, okay. So this is 130 miles. I don't need to do the Pythagorean theorem, but you could. Okay, so I have all my necessary information. We have here now A, which is, which one was A here, 120. I don't like putting units in here. It's not physics, I just do it at the end, all right? Um, times DA, DT. Where's my DA, DT? Over there, 60 miles per hour. Plus B, B is this one, 50 times, DB, DT is 25 over C, which is 130, okay? And then, well, I did it already, so let me just tell you. 120 times 60, beautiful, 65 miles per hour. Make sure you put units on the final answer though, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is the rate of change of the distance between the two cars, C, with respect to time, two hours after they take off. Okay, so that concludes this example. Hope it was helpful for you guys. I have a lot more videos on my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to check it out. Hit the notifications bell. I have full playlists for lectures on calculus one, two, three, pre-calc. Got a lot of stuff, so stay tuned.